Coffee with Mary. One of the things I get asked the most is about accommodation that I live in worldwide. I have a link for you uh, for Mexico accommodation. And you can check that out and check the prices for your dates. Um, but I wanted to address finding lodging in different countries. Okay, when you first start traveling, that's when you're probably gonna spend the most amount of money for what you wanna live in because you don't really know the situation in the particular place that you're going to. So, you know, go to booking.com, VRBO. That's what I did. Now, I did pay a premium for that, but I would get apartments where I could cook and that was wonderful. Of course they weren't perfect Wi-Fi wasn't always the best um, no matter what country and no matter what they tell you <laughs> so that's going to be different in every place um, no natural light dog barking next door um, continually not just sometimes construction things like that uh, so it is a big challenge um, so here's what I recommend doing and here's what I have done so check out those platforms and then when you're there consider doing research if you want to come back that's what I do and um, you can offer cash to the same place if you really like it and the people might go for it because they want somebody that they like in there and they don't want to take the chance sure they can make more money um, not paying cash but um, it has worked out for me so you have to explore the neighborhood see where you like to be and this is really for if you want to come back you're not likely to get a very good deal if you're just gonna go to a place once and in that recommendation if you're gonna do it that way and not come back that's when you get the better deals when you come back check out the Facebook expat groups and ask because they have people coming to visit them ask for affordable accommodation and and I've gotten very good suggestions um, I've also found my own uh, because I get a genius discount on booking.com so I get usually 20% off um, and the place I stay in Mexico City where I'm going this month I've I haven't stayed anywhere else I like it so much um, I started staying there in the pandemic when it was about half as much but you know they didn't have anybody staying there so I ended up staying a whole week because I liked it now the thing is what's your intention about accommodation it, you're not gonna get the best deals if you're gonna be there for a short amount of time so the longer you stay the better it's going to be you can get a weekly discount um, I have been mainly using booking or uh, places that I've already stayed and um, the cash option not very many places but just a few that I like to return to over and over again I don't stay with friends um, because I have my own requirements <laughs> I like to go to bed early sometimes I get up in the middle of the night and turn on the light I just don't want to deal with all of those discomforts and be on someone else's schedule so i just would rather pay um and in some ways in mexico this is one of my first trips there i uh did a couple of things where i did photographs for them for accommodation for free i should have been paid really but i just i was at the end of a trip and i was like look i can do all these pictures for you just you know let me stay a couple nights before i go back to the united states and that worked out great and they loved the pictures one hotel said you made it look like it doesn't even you made it look better than it looks so if you have a skill suggest it um i've done a lot of volunteer projects around the world and gotten free room and board sometimes free room and i feed myself um so there's a lot of different options you can approach but it usually doesn't fall into just having a couple of days um it's for longer stays so um you know you might get to the point where you just want to stay several months in a country and then you're going to find your own places just by talking and walking around with people not everything is online uh, not everybody wants to um do everything online because that would mean more taxes for them and more uh 
a public um, it's kind of like in the US when you work for cash or you work for um, getting paid with a visa you know there's a difference in that so comment below go to my uh, link I did a blog link on my site with um, links for you to check out prices in Mexico the places that I've actually stayed and did like there's gonna be more because I am going this month um, but anyway check it out if you have questions let me know and comment below uh, come on board to my channel like share if somebody is looking for accommodation and it helps me a lot it helps my channel